So go ahead on the left side, hit rectangle tool, draw the abdomen of your panda. It can be fat, it can be skinny, it's up to you. But actually we're gonna use the rounded uh, rectangle tool and we're gonna do it like that. I want a little bit more roundness to it. To choose the roundness, you're gonna double click and then you can choose your corner radius. I'm gonna choose 24 and notice how it's more round. And that's gonna be a black fill, okay? Uh, next is we're gonna make the face. And the face is basically just a circle. So just go ahead and to the Eclipse tool, uh, make your circle and make sure that it um, intersects into your abdomen so it kind of combines the shape, okay? And then, you know like the muzzle? The muzzle is the uh, Eclipse tool. So go ahead and we're gonna go to that again. Do the muzzle of the face. And the muzzle is going to be the white, okay? And then the eyes are going to be right above it. So just uh, go ahead and make one eye and make it covering uh, about that much. Should be pretty good, okay? And then in order for us to um, make sure that it's exactly the same, uh, you can just reflect it or duplicate it. On the left side, it's called reflect. Just double click that hit copy and it automatically makes a copy for you that we can make for the eyes, okay? So now we got kind of like the, the eyes or the eyelids. We gotta go ahead and make eyes. And eyes are usually kind of big because they're, it's a friendly bear. Like a mean bear would have like mean eyes, right? And notice that I'm duplicating that eyeball so that it's exactly the same size. And you know when uh, you look at like a stuffed animal, it kind of has a twinkle in its eye when you look at it. So uh, we're gonna make some twinkles into the eye. Hey, <laughs> morning. So go ahead and click on the white. The twinkles are gonna be white. So on the top right of our eyeball or eyelid, draw a circle. And so notice it fills it. And remember, option key, you can duplicate it, so it's a little bit faster to make the second eyeball. And our second one is gonna be a little bit smaller, like that. And then go ahead and highlight both of them, and you can group that, remember Command G. And then Option, we'll, uh, you can duplicate those, and now we have our twinkles in the eyes. Um, for our nose, do you guys remember the star tool? Go ahead and click on star tool and uh, take it to the left a little bit and the star, this is gonna be black. Now for our nose, we wanna get a triangle. And do you guys see a triangle shape inside the star? Yeah. yeah, I do. But we need to like strip it down to its basic form to get a triangle. So click on the direct selection tool or A on the keyboard and click on one of the points, the anchor points, and just hit delete. And just keep deleting those sides until you end up with a triangle. Okay? So notice there's a triangle now. And, but we need to fill our triangle. Right now it's open. See, it's open right here. So just use the pen tool and click and click to close our uh, tool. So now we have a triangle. And it's basically a perfect triangle. Now, if you notice that the nose, I mean, this would be a nose for what, like a bird, right? We're doing a panda bear, so we need rounded edges. To get a rounded edge, you're gonna click on the triangle and go to Effect, Stylize, and Round Corners, okay? Effect, Stylize, and Round Corners. Okay, and you can choose the points. Um, I'm gonna choose 8mm. I mean, it just depends on how much of a button nose you wanna make on it. And then you can conform it to the way you want it. Okay, so that's gonna be our nose that we're gonna make. And we're gonna stick our nose right into the middle of our panda bear. Okay, now we need a mouth and our mouth, what kind of shape is it going to be, do you think? 
Yeah, oval. So I'm gonna put a oval shape right there, make it black. And then there's our panda bear's face. Okay, now the panda bear, he has uh, the abdomen or stomach. It has a white area. So go ahead and eclipse tool. And then let's draw like the middle area. Kind of like that, make sure it's white. And then click on A on the keyboard to get the direct selection tool and we're actually gonna scrunch up the bottom anchor point. So it looks a little bit like that. Is anyone's uh, favorite animal the panda bear? No? So it looks like, like what, what does that look like? Egg. Yeah, an egg. Okay, so again, how I did that is you click on the direct selection tool, the white arrow, click on the bottom anchor point, and then just bring in the bottom anchor point up, and that's it. And then you can move it to the way you want it. Okay, uh, he's missing some ears, so the ears are just going to be circles, so black circles is fine. And we're going to have two of those, right? Now these are the outside of his ears. We need to put the inside of his ears as well. So that's going to be white. Uh, try not to make your ears too big, otherwise it'll look like Mickey Mouse. And we're drawing panda bears today, so... Okay. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to group your ears together. So s hold down the shift key and select each of the e parts of the ear. And then hit command G. And then we're going to send that to the back. And to do that, we're going to hit command shift and left bracket. And notice that it sent it to the back now. Make a circle first. And your circle is going to be a stroke of black and no fill. Okay, choose a no fill stroke or no fill fill. Okay. Then hit the A key. <laughs> it's a violin something. I think he's stuck on the same key. And then what you're going to do is with the direct selection tool, we're going to subtract two of these anchor points. Okay, there's one, select again, there's two. And now we have our arm. Now our arm we can easily move and make bigger. Now notice it has a block. <laughs> Looks like his, his arm got cut off, okay? This should be rounded, right? There's two ways of doing this. One is make another circle on it so it looks more rounded. But notice this is a little bit more difficult, it takes more time. So the faster way to do that is select your arm and then go to window and then go to let's see stroke. See window stroke. And then in window stroke on the right side, click on the triple line and hit show more options or and then click on the second one where it says round cap. Now don't laugh, but the first one, what we just did, is called butt cap. <laughs> and the second one is called round cap, and the third one is projected cap. We want round cap today. So go ahead and click on round cap, and now it's more rounded. Okay? So we can basically take our arm and center it where we want. And I'm going to make a copy of that arm and put it over here. And this is going to be his other side. And make sure that they're the same and proportioned. And do you think our arm should be on the front or on the back? Uh, probably the back. But it shouldn't matter too much. Okay. Yeah, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, the last thing we're going to do is make some feet. That's probably the easiest thing to do. So just make some black circles right about there and duplicate that and there we go. We got our panda bear.